Yeah. Is it more or less defensive, offensive, it's, or is it like a perfect move? It's a neutral. It's a neutral. So it's, okay. Okay. So it looks like these players are getting ready, putting in their names. Yep. It's a... Uh, Switcheroo pretty much... He's Switcheroo's gotten way better since the last time I've seen him. Yeah, definitely. His down beats off stage are really insane to watch. Yeah, definitely. It's really scary. Yeah, Pikachu's wall of thunder, like trying to recover back, it's scary yeah. because you basically have to air dodge it. But... Especially with Luigi. Good luck with that. And <laughs> honestly, Luigi's not that bad. You can stall out for. Um, oh, that's true. Yeah. That makes sense. That's a good thing about Luigi. He can stall his recovery, but it becomes open if you try to stall yeah. it. Yeah. It's. And Luigi can get Pikachu, but it's really hard. Sort of. It'd yeah, be sort of. harder. Yeah, you have to be lower in yeah. anything. Or because they have to be at like 150. Yeah, because this recovery goes super far. Yeah, definitely. Unless they do one instead of two yeah. uppies. But for some reason, Switcheroo is kind of notorious for messing up his uppie recovery. Yeah. Be closer. So. But, uh, yeah. He's, yeah. For some reason, he, he does mess it up a little bit. Yeah, uh, I haven't but, seen him in a while, so yeah. I he's think he's probably gotten be over that habit. Yeah, he's probably he's probably gotten over it. And it looks like Hive is going Palutena. Palutena. His Palutena mm. is amazing. Yeah, he's, I don't know. I haven't seen how he plays both of them, but I would think Weepy Trey would be a little bit better in this matchup. Uh, s sort of. Only thing Palutena um, is more of a reflector character and is a spacey character, but Pikachu can invade her space easily with quick attack and all these fast moves. Yes, but. If they go to... Oh, never mind. Everything no, we, I was going to say went We can talk. What? You can keep it talking. Or, but, um... Okay. So it looks like they're going to town and city for game one. Ooh. Yeah. The, the move that every other player in this entire state hates. Yeah. Because everybody thinks it's bad when it's really good. Yeah. Is auto radical. Yeah. And forward air to grab with Palutena is a true combo. Um, is it like percent based? Or uh, I don't think you can do it at higher percents, like oh, okay. really high percents. But, but it's like at early to mid to low high yeah. is a true combo. It's a very kind of like combo. a jab. And yeah. her back air disjoint is yeah. really strong. Doesn't she have invincibility on her shield? Yes. Or? Anything that hits the shield is canceled. Okay. So that dash attack cancels all moves, and back air cancels all yeah. moves. So that might help on offstage recovery, because if Pikachu tries to challenge Palutena, yeah. just back air. And That's why I was thinking Pika er, Palutena might be actually good in this match. Is she For one, she has ever reflector. For two, a lot of Pikachu's moves are like premeditated. Like yeah, You definitely. can see them coming. So her counter might not be as useless as it typically is. Yeah. And her platform canceling up B is going to be really useful yeah. here. I wonder how um, um, Palutena's Reflector would react to um, up B, actually, because it pushes you back, but it's not, like, that hard to get past it. But I wonder yeah. how up B will react to it. It may actually send him backwards. I don't know. No, it doesn't do that. Oh, okay. But, uh... It looks like Pikachu has the percent lead right now. Ooh, he goes yeah. for the up, up throw to up B, or up no. throw to down B combo. I don't agree with that side B. Probably a misinput. Yeah, he's... For some reason, he does seem to be misinputting a lot of side yeah. Bs right now. But probably. He's, he's doing really solid right now. Yeah, but you probably want to play more safe with Wait, Pikachu. I'll, I'll, I'll be doing the the because, yeah, agree. he has a lot of fast moves, but also, he's lies as a break. So if you get punished hard, you're going to get punished hard with Pikachu. I agree, but in a matchup against a character that's considered one of the worst in the game, yeah, you could probably make more mistakes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not like ZSS or someone like that. Yeah, somebody really high tier character is gonna be. You can't do that as much. Yeah, like Luigi or someone like that. But a character like Palutena. Yeah, you can be a little more reckless because you overall are gonna win most of the trades and stuff like that. Yeah, your character is just yeah. naturally better. But Palutena is underrated. She is not yeah. that bad of a character. Yeah. She is not... I wouldn't say she's, like, mid to high tier. No, I'd no, say she's, like, not. the lowest to mid or, like, top low tier. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, but she has some good stuff, but she has a lot of weaknesses. But like, honestly, the difference between low tier and a high tier... Yeah. yeah, it's very minimal in this game. Like, yeah, it's like, super balanced. Like, in Melee, you could... You just couldn't play low tier characters, really. Yeah, definitely. In, in Brawl, you really could not. Yeah. Like, if you went into a Brawl game with Captain Falcon, you were just going to lose the game. Yeah. And up throw kills at 165. 170, yeah, dang. That was really interesting. Yeah, probably Rage took into account of that as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Being halfway to full Rage probably assisted yeah. him a lot in that kill. I don't really think Pikachu uses that as a kill throw that much. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, actually. more or less tries to go for the Thunder right after. 
But I guess if you don't have another option, that's a free mm. kill, so might as well do it. Ooh, but the he back him with air the back is gonna air. end Pikachu's stock surprisingly early, early compared to Palutena's. So if Palutena could stay in and just try to survive longer, like he did before, he could probably win if he started getting more damage on Pikachu. Yes, if he can, if he can start getting more damage on and stay alive as long as he was. Yeah, that's definitely is gonna swing in his favor. See. Um, if he would have opted for a grab after the forward air, it would have been confirmed. Because yeah. he, he was probably holding shield the entire time, and it came out last second. He yeah. was in the perfect shield to dash attack. Yeah, so a grab would have got him. Mm -hmm. Like right now, there you yeah. go. And then that combo's in the forward air, so yeah. he is going to... Okay. He was trying Apparently to Palutena him. does have some combos out of down throw. Yes. But she can they're combo. not super big, but... Are they percent based? Like yes. after ninety, after, after ninety, could she like not kill? Uh, she can kill with like down throw to up smash. Uh, yeah, and basically she, air dodge reads and stuff. Yes. Okay. Pretty much, like every other high tier character except for Luigi. But, um. Anyway. Seven, piece of crap and chaos. Looks like Pikachu took out that stock pretty early against yeah. Palutena. This is gonna be a big uphill battle. Yeah, this is gonna be a really hard match for. Hive to get with Palutena. Yeah, and it looks like Pikachu's just content to stay back. And okay, that's gonna get punished. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh! oh my and he's God! making a comeback. This Hive. is probably exactly what Hive needs to take this game. That, that is exactly what Hive needed at that time. Yes. So he, he may be able to take this game if he plays it right. He could say throw kill at 60. Yeah. This could be a very big comeback for Hive right now. Yeah, definitely. He's actually up in percent now. Okay, not anymore, but yeah. Whatever. He has made probably the biggest comeback that in the shortest amount of time I've ever yeah. seen. I just thought about it. Couldn't Up Smash be a pretty good ledge guard or an option sort of. against uh, Pikachu's quick attack? Yes. Yeah, against probably. Pikachu's if he was trying yes. to recover high. Yeah, yeah definitely. most definitely. It's it's good against a lot of characters that don't have good get-up attacks Yeah. and have slow rolls. Like It's really good against Rob. Ooh, yeah. no tech. Catch. Oh, my oh God. the spike oh but does God. not follow up. Hive with a really good DI, saving him from the Pikachu Yeah, down. this is really close. Like, Anyone, any smash attack is probably going to kill both of them. Yeah. Yeah, especially if, now. If Palutena actually hits a smash attack, that's it for his Pikachu. And if Pikachu hits any smash attack that's not down smash, yeah. it would probably kill. I don't think Pik I don't think down smash yeah. from Pikachu would kill yet. Maybe up air might kill with Palutena now. I mean, one oh, of the strongest up definitely kill. Yeah, definitely. She is by far the best up air in the game. But it seems like Switch is pretty content on staying on the ground, so. Yeah. Unless he can get a good juggle, um, he probably won't land that move. Oh, my God. Oh, that whoa. was really. Sadly, oh, that whoa, way back. Combo. Oh, PDF. and it okay. looks like Hive takes the so, first game, the low tier hero at the himself. Very, at the very end, it, it looked like. Because that should, I don't think that should be a true combo at the very Yeah, that I think he high. more or less panicked. I think yeah. uh, Switch panicked and DI'd into Paulo Tena. Yeah. And got hit by the up air. Yeah, it looks like he tried to challenge it as well with Nair, but it's not like a frame three or anything to challenge it. Plus, yeah. Palutena has a disjoint on her up air, I believe. Yeah, so that's probably how we won that I, like, game. like summons some sparkles above her head to show that she's a queen. Yeah. And she kills you with it. For Hive, I would recommend him choose a stage. That wouldn't give um, Pikachu that much running room because yeah. um, Town and City is pretty big. Oh, Smashville is actually a pretty good choice because it's pretty small. Well, he did win, so he can't choose the stage. Yeah, but this is actually a little bit better for Palutena. Actually, this stage is probably. It's going to be overall in Pikachu's favor, but yeah. it may be a little bit more bearable. Medieval spy in Exceladon City. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It looks like oh Hive. Okay, Hive is going. Oh my goodness. goodness. Yes, definitely. Showing everybody why Paul is not as garbage as they think. Yeah, getting that early damage, but it looks like. But Pikachu is which is going to respond right back. Combos. It's okay. just coming in hard. Right. Game over and spooky. So, as you can see, Paul was trying to do a thing with a lot of their characters do, and just hold their rapid jab above the ledge to where it will auto hit them yeah. if they get up. I Both pretty Pikachu, much I think weird. it doesn't work as well because Pikachu is super small. Yeah, that and quick attack is just a weird character, or weird move in general. But, um, it's it seems like it's very good. The stage could be good for either of them. Yeah, just thinking about it right now, Pikachu may have a little bit of trouble edge guarding um, Palutena because she does have warp. Yeah. So that's With basically a free um, ledge if she can get the up B out. 
And right there, you did see Pikachu. Oh my god! Oh, and there he gets comes a the spike. He does to not kill, B. though. Yeah. Which is actually really surprising because probably freaking Palutena yeah. is super light. Yeah. Good as, DI by Hive. As, as you can see. Five, new jump versus Supi. As you can see right there, Palutena's shield does stop pretty much all attacks. And yeah. I think it actually is every attack. So that's why he didn't. Oh, okay. down smash is gonna kill. Yeah, couldn't TI out of down smash that time. Rock the crash bar and Dino. Oh. And down throw to up air is gonna take it. It seems like Hive is it. Was it confirmed that that percent? Yes. Okay. Because he didn't have rage. Okay. Yeah. And probably Ooh. DI had take into account a little bit. Probably. Yeah. I was I was I actually looked away for a second, so mm. I. Have, I can't it seems tell like you. Switch is having a little bit of trouble with that combo. Yeah, he yeah. is. But, uh, but you don't really have that much practice against low tiers because you're not really going to expect yeah. low, expect low a tiers. Palutena. Especially a good Palutena. Yeah. We actually, there's two Palutenas here right now that are both really good. Yeah. So. And it's Joey and Hive? No. Or Mocha Boy and Hive. Okay. It looks like we have some low tiers at this tournament. That's yes, good to we see. Do. One of them is not Luigi. Uh, it looks like Pikachu does have the percent lead. Yeah, Pikachu is up. 55% right yeah. now. But if Palutena so. could get some good strings, she can probably bring it back. Yeah. I don't, I don't think we'll be seeing any more Town and City, so. Yeah. I don't think we can have another insane comeback like that. No. Well, apparently, Dave's Stupid Rule is not at this tournament, so. It's not? No. no I had, yeah. For some reason, it's not. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Like, but, he uh, was going to counterpick me back to Battlefield. Yeah, see. But then he brought it up, and I'm like, oh. Yeah. So I switched my bands. Which is very nice of him, because he probably could have just said, yeah, he, oh, if, whatever. Had but, you, if you had already banned at that point, he could have said no. Yeah. But, but oh, that was that, really that's nice going to take the stock. Yeah, Back nice stock. Back air is really good move on Palutena. Back air is probably one of the best moves, because it is invincible and is really strong. Yeah. How big is the invincibility? Is it just her shield or a lot it's of her just body? just shield. Okay. Just but she only shield. uses her body really jut or her shield to jut out, so yeah, that's why it's probably safe. Oh, that's the spike, and yeah, it's going to kill. Yeah, this looks like it's going to kill. So, so it's an even game. This is now back to an even game, back yeah. in the neutral. Oh, the freaking yeah, the trying to get to save and switch yeah. from the combo. Oh, but that's how you would hear that much from Palutena, saving him from a I combo. Know. Okay, Ooh. so it looks like Hive. Getting double forward air into a in. freaking tech trap neutral air. Yeah, it misses the grab. Oh, but up tilts. Oh, but he misses follow-up. Yeah. Palutena shouldn't be that easy to up tilt juggle because she can probably jump out since she's so light. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see there, he did uh, take Pikachu's jump and it went in for a follow up, but yeah. uh, like he did it again. But Definitely. Quick attack being such a good recovery is very hard. So Hive can land a good kill combo or can get a smash. This is oh my it. god! And that forward smash is gonna forward kill. Smash combo. You never see that much of forward smash killing because of that win box is humongous. Yeah. But that's a nice force so smash. slow, but jab to where to an air dodge. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Hits him with the forward smash. Yeah, good games by both players. Well, it looks like so Hive is going to take it. 2-0. Hive takes the game. Station one, Dr. P versus DTJF2. I got so much fucking salty last time I played him. Did you win? Uh, you played Wario? I lost because of Walk. But I was just more or less playing around then. Because I would just go wreck down B. Should we turn off the commentary? What? Do you guys mind if we do your commentary next? Yeah. Sure. Good. Oh, you need mine? No, sure. <laughs> yeah, we mind. You know what? Yeah. No, you're not mine. I just saw Station 9, Matoro and Kai Yeti. Station 9, Matoro and Kai Yeti. S2. Uh, feet. I got uh, T Yeti wherever he went. Yeah.
we gonna do the raffle after the last few months? Yo, T. Yeti! Ian! Oh, you're fine. Do you have my controller? Uh, I gave it to you. Might be over. It's probably over there. I'll find it. I'll figure it out later. Okay. Welcome back to Bourbon State Smash. This is Warren Martin. This is Ian Martin teasing Eddie. And looks like it's going to be Dr. P versus S2. Yep. Let's see. I didn't see who they just picked. I, I didn't see either. Who does... Um, oh, it looks like it's Mario versus Luigi. Oh. In the fashion of today's tournament name, which is the one of Luigi. Yep. Makes sense. Looks like uh, Dr. P already has the Luigi hat on. Yep. I mean, he just beat a T.O. earlier. They, gentlemen to gamer. Okay. For this okay, match, this is going to be intense. Looks like they're just doing button test. <laughs> look at that Mario. Yeah. Looks like they're ready. Oh, wait. Are they testing or they're actually playing? I can't tell. I think they're actually playing. Is oh, they have test? to be testing. Yeah, they're totally testing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, they are. Yeah, I'm they're so testing. Confused All right. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say, whenever you see Gamer come up, you the rules on playing on Gamer is start, LRA start, choose a different stage. <laughs> That's the rules to play on Gamer. <laughs> That's the only way to actually win a Gamer. Well, it looks like Luigi got stomped this time <laughs> around, so... Okay. Let's see if we can get right back into a real match here. Uh, they're still, oh, they're still trying to ban stages and crap. Well, I played S2 at the weeklies every week in Lexington. Uh, I want to go to at least one of the weeklies in Lexington. Yeah, they're good. I just haven't been able to get yeah, the time to do Yeah, that's what I thought. He's to play as Dr. Mario. Work and full time. So. S2 is convinced that Dr. Mario is top five. Oh, Dr. Mario versus Dr. P. Wow, that's, that's cool. Oh, Martian, Best you're about to play. WTD Hawkward and Martian. Okay. Good luck, Warren. Yeah. I wish you luck on this hey, camera. It looks like I'm going to be stuck in here on commentating. How you doing, Butter? How you doing, Butters? Doing pretty good. Good. Uh, so it looks like this is winners, and it's going to be Dr. P versus S2. Yep, it is Dr. Mario versus Dr. P. Dr. Mar <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it looks like Dr. Mario versus Mega Man. Well, um, Dr. Well, let's P. hope for some fair game and not some malpractice between the two doctors. That'd be terrible. Uh, right definitely. Now. Yeah. Um, I've talked to Dr. P about this matchup. He said he had a lot of trouble with Mario, but Dr. Mario probably is going to give him an easier time, especially since Dr. Mario um, has less mobility in Mario, like running, and that's probably a big reason why Mega Man has trouble with it. Right. Well, it looks like Dr. Mario is taking a yeah, pretty good care of Yeah, S2 has an amazing Dr. Mario. Best in the state, arguably, I, by far. I probably I, I have not played as Dr. Mario. I just recently started picking him up myself because I always found him pretty interesting. Yeah, he's a pretty good character. I play, or I play a little bit of Dr. Mario. Yeah. yeah. It was my first main um, Smash 4, but then I decided to go with Luigi. Yeah, Dr. Mario is one of my mains in Melee, but that's only because yeah, I've definitely. always had a great attachment to Melee. Yeah. I prefer Dr. Mario in Melee as well. Yeah, he's still pretty good in this one. It's just not nearly as capable, in my opinion. Yeah. More or less because he he lost a lot of mobility, and that's basically his biggest thing. He, can, he has trouble recovering because of his mobility. Yeah. Yeah, but it looks like... Let's get back to this match. Um, I know what you're doing. Looks like Dr. P's getting a little bit of damage, but it looks like... 
um, S2 Dr. Mario just invading his space. Yeah, I was talking to S2 not too long ago. He said that he would probably put Dr. Mario in top tier, but I don't know if that's just a personal bias yeah, of it's his. Yeah, probably or, personal bias. I'd put yeah. him in um, high mid tier. Yeah, high mid tier. High or mid mid tier. Yeah. Because he does have some glaring flaws that are especially like they're presented especially in high tier matchups. So. Yeah, I enjoy Mar uh, I enjoy Dr. Mario. My biggest probably with my jeez, I can't talk. My biggest problem with, doc, um, like, playing Dr. Mario is recovery. Yeah, definitely. But it can be aided with down B and other stuff, but, yeah. Yeah, I usually use down throw, down B whenever I play Dr. Mario. That's a really fun combo whenever you're just trying to rack up some damage in the beginning. Yeah. So, um, it looks like S2 is really having a little bit of trouble now. So yeah, I look expect more of... Um, Dr. P's uh, projectiles. Yep, the lemon party is t yeah. having some fun here. Yeah, Dr. P should really worry about, or should really not try to attack Dr. Mario's shield because he has one of the strongest out of shield punishes in the game being up B. Yeah. So he should probably, I know he was trying to set up um, uh, chainsaw, or not chainsaw, but blade, or metal blade into uh, up tilt, but that may be a little bit less favorable because especially if he knows the setup, he's going to up B to punish it. Right. Like, uh, I, I noticed that whenever um, I look at Mega Man's game and how people have to play against Mega Man, it's almost similar to how people have to play Duck Hunt, but not almost, but yeah. not quite. You can be a little bit more physical with Duck Hunt than you can with the Mega Man. Uh, yeah, because most of Mega Man's attacks are projectile. Yeah. He, he, like all his neutrals, like right here is a projectile. Yeah, the Lemon Party itself. Yeah. Making a lemonade stand now. Yeah. yeah, I know. Dr. Mario's got the yellow support in the lemonade stand. He's probably the assistant. Yeah, definitely. Or he's probably Janitor Mario. <laughs> that yellow stuff is all, yeah. I gotcha. Anyways, looks like Dr. B's having trouble getting the kill, which is going to be very scary against Doc, because one thing he has over Mario is his damage output and strength, knockback, is, like, amazing. And he has the same frame data as Mario. It's just Mario has more mobility and combos. Yeah. At least, at least compared to Mega Man, this is going to be something else for... Yeah, this is going to be tricky for Dr. P. Yeah, I've, I don't think I've ever actually seen this matchup personally. I actually haven't seen uh, Dr. P try to throw Metal Blade off stage because he's done that a lot against Luigi, which, yeah, it's a little harder. Wow, he, he came back. He probably should have tried to get hit by the tornado on the other side, so it's in him back. Right, yeah, right. That up smash is going to seal it. Yeah, but it looks whenever, like um, Dr. P is going to be at a deficit. So I don't think the stage is really in favor of Dr. P, especially now because Mo or Dr. Mario's biggest problem is his mobility, which goes to recovery as well. Right. But um, the stage being so small is probably going to negate it a little bit. Yeah, I know what you mean. And that's why Dr. P's having a little bit of trouble. Yeah, I've, so, I fought against uh, Lucy's uh, Dr. Ma uh, not Dr. Ma um, I'm saying. Mega, uh, Man? Mega Man, yes, for yeah. sure. And he's actually really good Mega Man. I still have not beaten it personally. but Yeah. Really good. He, yeah, he's a really good Mega Man. We have pretty strong Mega Mans in our state. Yeah. Which is pretty good because he's not that well represented of a character. But yeah, they're no, showing I'm, what he has. I haven't seen too many like pro Mega Man like players, really. The only ones I've really seen is Lucy, if you consider him pro. Yeah. And then there are some other pro players, other than Dr. P, also. Um, but actual like pro players, um, there are a few. I believe there was a Mega Man who got top eight at MLG, the tournament um, Zero finally lost, uh, oh. or finally lost, but I am not sure his name so far. Yeah, I can't, I can't think of it um, either. I, I had not even really heard, personally. The last match on Station 1 just had a uh, Hive. Um, it had and Hive versus uh, Switcheroo, yeah, and yeah. it was a close match. A close I match actually, in both games, but yeah, I, love I was playing, able to clutch it out. Yeah, I love playing Palutena, and I'd never seen a Palutena do that well at a tournament before. Yeah. Oh, that it looks like an unfortunate SD. Yeah. It looks like he may have used his Cyclone before, before landing on the ground, so that messed up his Cyclone again. Right. Because Cyclones do reset when they hit the ground or they grab the ledge. I gotcha. Yeah, so it looks like Doc is just going to throw some pills. <laughs> yeah. He's trying to think of, he's trying to find some medication is because this, Mega Man's got the medical. He's giving him some medical advice and he's like trying to swat the pills away it seems. Yeah. Doesn't want to listen to what the doctor has to say. Yeah. He'd rather spend his time in nature with his leaves. Okay. Reason why Mega Man isn't approaching is because he lost his Metal Blade, which is one of his biggest like neutral game projectiles. 
Yeah. Because now he only has like a short range lemon and like his smashes, but Station those have a lot of cooldown. Um, so, uh, Mega Man's at kill percent for anything, even up B, so Mega yeah. Man's got to be very wary of his approach on his shield. Yeah, no, ho hopefully we'll, they will not time out. They yeah. only got a minute and a half left. I think, um, projectiles actually, that Metal Blade will lose, or leave his hand after a bit, because it has timer, it looks like that up B. Nice DI, but after P. It seems like he's going to have trouble. Oh, there that it up, is. The first up B, just the knockback is insane. Takes the first game. It's pretty, pretty close. It was somewhat close, yeah. Seemed like um, Dr. P started to get his grasp after the first game. Or yeah. first stock. Um, one thing about Dr. Mario you have to be very wary about is his um, offstage game. He doesn't have the best recovery, but his edge guarding tools are really good. Yeah. Like, his down B, if you hit him on the right side, they can kill at like 100%, 120 not bad. Um, because it has pretty good knockback. Um, and his up B, his up B, if you up B at the ledge, uh -huh. and there's another person at the ledge, it will stage spike. But because um, Dr. Mario's up B has so much um, recoil lag, it's almost impossible, if if not just impossible, to tech. And it will just send him so strong. It's like one of the strongest, uh, basically, edge guarding tools in the game. I need to keep these in mind whenever I play Doctor Mario. Yeah, definitely. I'd like to. I'd like to say that in like the characters that I play, he's probably in my top ten. Yeah. Because I just I really enjoy Doctor Mario. Like yeah, Doctor Mario is a fun character. Yeah. If they gave him a buff, I'd like really overhaul the character and make him better. Probably give him better down throw. Give him better combos. Um, that'll probably outweigh his weaknesses, and he'll probably be like high mid. Yeah. I would like. I know that a lot of people use the down throw uh, up tilt with Mario, and it's uh, it's not. Yeah, it's not that good because it doesn't work at same percent as well. Yeah, I think Dr. Mario hits a little bit harder than Mario, which makes it a little bit harder to combo. Yeah, well and his down throw I think has a little bit more knockback at, or base knockback. Yeah. But I'm not sure about his knockback growth because I don't think it has nearly as much. Right. Um. So it looks like you're just gonna play neutral. Seems like Doc is being it is. Basically playing it safe and dodging it. I don't yeah. agree with um, Dr. B going back to Battlefield. I think probably FD or maybe another flat stage like Duck Hunt um, would have been a better pick, but maybe right. S2 banned those two. Because Duck Hunt, Dr. B loves that stage, but S2 may know that as well and have banned it against him. Yeah, I wonder why. Uh, it actually does make me wonder why they would go back to Battlefield, yeah. especially when it was Dr. P's Dr. stage P, choice. And yeah, Dr. P did say he really liked this stage, but... This matchup, I don't see it really being that beneficial for right. Mega Man. Because uh, those projectiles, number one, they give Dr. Mario a place to like stay away from a lot of projectiles since they only go straight. They don't go like up and down. Yeah. And uh, also, it's just it can get in Dr. P's way a little bit for setting up his Mega Man wall. Yeah, I love Dr. Mario's aerials. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like the spike is going to take the early stock. So it looks yeah. like Dr. P is probably just wants to play safe and not try to overextend, especially on his shield, because Dr. Mario, especially at the ledge, is probably going to kill with up B out of shield. He yeah. should probably try to play it safe. Yeah. I don't agree All with right, him. All right, looks turn. like I'm up. Okay, so. Okay, so it looks like I'll be doing solo commentary for a little bit. And it's going back to neutral. Uh, Mega Man's gotten a little bit more percent, but he's also gotten some damage on Dr. Mario. But it's not enough that Mario will have trouble making it back. Probably a few combos or an F smash is going to make it back. But now, we got silent on the mic. What's, up? What's going on? Mario versus um, Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario versus Mega Man, S2 versus Dr. P. And uh, this, this is game two. Uh, Dr. P, or no, S2 took the first game. Yeah. S2 took the first game on this stage, but Dr. B decided to run it back for some reason. I don't agree with the stage choice, but yeah. yeah. Is the, he probably knows something more than I don't. Yeah, I honestly don't know enough about either of these characters to really guess what yeah. they should I'll be. Yeah, I'll be out of shield. is one of the strongest out of shield options in the game. Be a humongous disjoint and kill him pretty early. But Dr. B got a lot of free percent on it, a lot of extra credit, so it's probably going to be a little bit of trouble. For Dr. Mario to get back. Yeah, Dr. Mario's going to have to do a lot of work if he wants to bring this back. Yeah. One thing I noticed with um, Mega Man last game is he had trouble killing Dr. Mario. Um, so if he could work on killing it, like, probably try to punish him at the ledge or um, off stage, I'll probably um, be able to in stocks a lot earlier. Because 
the longer Dr. Mario li is alive, the more percent um, Dr. P is going to get. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Legend of Invincibility saving him from that crash bomb. I just love watching good Mega Man. Yeah, definitely. So good. Yeah. Just like the wall they make with it. Yeah. It's like makes it almost untouchable. Yeah. So Dr. P, it looks like he's going to try to go for a kill option now. Maybe up till... But, uh, Does, uh, I don't know. Mega Man have a kill throw? Uh, at the ledge, it will... Yeah, at the ledge, um, back throw will probably kill now. Not sure about forward throw or anything. Well, Dr. Mar definitely brought brought it back already. Yeah, definitely. They're both within... Oh, there it goes. And it looks like that Nair to up, um, up smash. Yeah, I think stock. Dr. P really wants to work on killing him a bit earlier. Or else, uh, but Dr. Mar yeah. can still bring this back. Probably try to exploit his recovery. But also, don't try to play too close to the ledge because Dr. Mario has a really good ledge guarding game. Yeah. Yeah. So you actually play Doc sometimes, don't you? Yeah, he's a pretty good character. I'd say, at best, low mid or mid mid. Or like the. Not really. He's not a high tier character or mid high. It's yeah. like Nairo. So, um, what, what that, exactly uh, is this up B he's doing? Oh, okay. like, that up B has a humongous disjoint, and it, it goes for the fist. Oh, okay. And I'd I've say it's about as big as Mario's body. I don't know. But big as Mario's what? Um, Mario's body. If you were to put oh, another okay. Mario in front of him. Oh, okay. Yeah. But he kills incredibly early and is a really good out of shield option. Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, I think it has invincibility as well. Yeah. So it's already back to an even game yeah. after Dr. Mario's down quite a bit. Yeah. So it looks like um, Dr. P is going to want to try to end the stock early. <clears throat> Because it seems like Dr. Mario hasn't had that much trouble killing uh, Dr. P. And now has the percent lead. So probably trying to get him off stage. Like right now. Okay, that's Ooh, good. That was really good. Okay. Now don't. Okay, be careful on the ledge. But it looks like Dr. Mario is not going to recover. I thought he could have recovered there. But he may have used down B. Not optimally or just not at the right so time. Does does Dr. Mario have like a Luigi down B where he can use it to recover? Uh, yes. Yeah. If you press it fast enough, he will rise. But the max cap of his down B um, is a lot shorter than Luigi's, and it goes a lot faster. Yeah. So it's not as good as Luigi's down B. It's more helpful for horizontal recovery rather than vertical. So if you were Mario, where would you take Mega Man now? If I was Doc, um, it was a really close match on... Uh, on... Uh, it was Battlefield, right, yeah. Yeah. I would probably try to do a stage where Mega Man can't run away as well. Um, actually, a run back to Battlefield wouldn't be that bad. Or um, Dreamland. And it looks like they're going to oh. Omega Wrecking Crew. Omega Wrecking Crew, okay. Yeah. This is S2's favorite stage, and he's going actual so, Mario. Oh, he's going normal Mario. Okay. Yeah. So Could do you agree with this? Do like, would you have done this if this was you? Uh... Definitely. Ooh, or, random up beat. Because Ooh, he has no a punish. pretty good he has a pretty good Mario. I'd say his dock is a little bit better. Yeah. Um, Station five, tasty combo wise. He usually takes Mario to this stage as well. So probably if he chose the stage, he was gonna go back to Mario. Yeah. Mario gives um, Mega Man a lot harder a lot harder of a time. Because Dr. Mario's biggest problem is that number one, he doesn't have that many good combos, but they do do a lot of percent if he has a combo. Yeah. And um, the second thing is Mario's mobility is a lot better than Doc's, so Mario's going to be able to invade Dr. P's space so a lot So Mario more. doesn't have like a critical up B like Doc does, yeah, right? he doesn't have a critical up B, but he does have up smash. Yeah, I was wondering because he seems to still be doing a lot of random up Bs that don't really get him anything. Yeah, it does. Um, he could get a combo out of up B, but the only thing he would do is safe percent because he does have invincibility for the first three frames of his up B. Ah, okay. And I believe his up B is frame three. So, yeah. <laughs> and you can, if it's not shielded, you can barely punish it. Disarray and Sudden Law! Disarray and Sudden Law. Yep. That's going to be a hype match, but let's get back to this match. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, it looks like he used his double jump before up B, and yeah. the wall jump couldn't save him. Doesn't have that really good I just wall jump. I do like the fact that he's one of the players that do take the wall jump into effect. Like, I know yeah, a lot of people just yeah, forget, people about, forget it. about it. Yeah, forget about it. But like Lil Max as well, um, his wall jump is amazing. Little Mac has a wall jump? Yeah, Lil oh. Mac has a wall jump. I did not know this. It's like about as good as, um, I'd say Mario's regular jump. He oh, goes wow. that high. That's yeah. pretty great. So, 
that's basically the only way he can recover. But he has trouble getting back to the stage. That's like his biggest problem. Yeah. So um, wall jump isn't that effective, especially with the current stage list. There aren't many like straight down stages. Yeah. Um, what do we have? Like that's duck hunt. Uh, duck hunt and just omegas. Yeah. No. Yeah. And maybe Castle Siege for some. Ooh. It looks like that up tilt having I, invincibility. I love uh, Mega Man's up tilt. Yeah, it has invincibility, so that's how he was able to get out of that jab combo. Ah. He may be have wait he may have waited on his third jab. Or it may just have a lot of lag. Or in between. Or AFF frames. Or AFA. It looks like Mario's going back to his combos. Yeah. And it looks like Mega Man's having a lot of trouble keeping a safe zone against Mario. Yeah. yeah, but it seems like now he's just wanting to play on the aggress um, aggressive, trying to get a lot of percent in, not trying to chip it off, because Mega Man's at critical percent right now. Yeah. Probably a charge up smash will do it. Ooh. And I like that S2 is actually, Ooh. oh, nice air dodge read. Yeah, S2 is really good at air dodge reading. Yeah. And just his ledge game, and like trying to get off the ledge game is really good. Like he'll read if you want to roll, or he'll pick up on a lot of habits you have off stage. Yeah, this dude's definitely a really good player. I like watching him play. He used to play uh, Wario. I really like watching his Wario. But yeah, his Wario's pretty good. But I think he Wario, dropped him. Or is he just... Uh, I think he actually dropped him for Mario and uh, Doc. That's sad. Yeah. I think he also dropped Peach. Oh, he played Peach? Yeah, he used to play Peach. He had a really good Peach. Uh, One I of the best in the state, I'd argue. Oh, wow. But I think he just dropped him for Mario. Have a little bit more, like, focus on one character. Yeah. Worked on getting them really good. Yeah, Mario's definitely not a bad character yeah, to play no, either. No, like, arguably, like, top five. Or, like, bottom of top five. Yeah. So, yeah. I'd put him somewhere in top 10. Yeah, I'll, so I don't know about top 5. Eh, right. yeah, maybe. It depends. Ooh, that was nice. And it nice. looks like that up smash is going to kill. Yeah, but Mario's well, definitely not a bad I like what he did so there made. by catching the saw and then Z dropping it. Yeah. So, if Dr. P wanted to avoid the up smash, he'd get hit and then have another punish set up anyway. Yeah, so that was basically, really nice. he had to choose, like, an option. Both options were disadvantageous. Oh, yeah. I'm, I think he would have died either way. I think S2 had a plan for no matter what he did. Yeah. But it was really creative. I like Seems it. Seems like um, Dr. P is just having trouble having to deal with um, Dr. Mario's up B. And his yeah. aerials in general. That's another thing about Dr. Mario. Because he jumps so high and he can like approach from the top. Yeah. It gives um, Mega Man a hard time because his only anti-air. Okay, missing the jab lock kill. But um, his only anti-air is really just um, up smash. I love the uh, edge guard with the leaves. Yeah. So good. Yeah, I think um, if he went for down smash, that probably would have been a better punish instead of trying to mess with his recovery. But it may have been just mind games. So that's two is pretty good with his mind oh, games. Ah, uh, and yeah, up smash. Not gonna kill. Not gonna kill yet, because that was the. I don't think Mario has a sour spot for his up smash. Just it, um, the hitbox is bigger in the back. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. Doc I like the angle. Mega Man's gonna really want to like just not get hit anymore if he wants to bring this back. Yeah. He probably he needs to edge guard um, Ooh, Mario a lot, and it looks like that uh, S-Man is gonna, gonna it. seal it with his two stock. Good game by both of them. Game. As two winning two one actually. Seems like Dr. P had adapted to his Dr. Mario. Yeah. So he went back to Mario, and that probably threw him off. He yeah. had a lot of trouble with Dr. or with regular Mario before, so that maybe could explain why he had a lot of trouble in this matchup. Uh, yeah. But he usually uses Luigi for a counter of uh, Mario, so, yeah. It's good games for both of them. I'm going to hop off the mic. Okay. Station 9, T, Yeti, and Chaos! <laughs> Oh, S2. Okay. 
okay. I'm not really saying much. I'm so bad at commentating. <laughs> I just haven't done much of it. So my second time. Station <laughs> nine, Ruth, <coughs> Sam. Your brother said that Diddy should not be on the table because I need someone that that can hit like range. Then do what? Basically, he said as a pocket character, I need like a range. Then I named my put three people I was considering the zero suit, Sheik, and Diddy. He said Diddy's off the table because. Because after the nerf, he still uh, he has to get in the kill. Uh, Talk about this now. I was waiting for the turn. I was waiting for the next turn. Alright. All right. <laughs> Got BSG Dagda and Goofy Goober, I think. Or did he change his name? Uh, no idea. We Fit? Ah. Uh, uh, I wanted to see some We Fit. What? Cap Falcon versus Falcon. Fal Falco versus, yep. Alright, going to Smashville. Falcon and Falco. Really think this match is going to be dependent on how well Falco can just keep Falcon out. I feel like I'm going to confuse their names so many times throughout this fucking match. But I think it's going to be really dependent on if Falco can keep Falcon out with his lasers and the shot. Ooh, oh, but that's not going to do anything. That was a really, really good spike. Falcon continues 20 this, seconds Falco. and he's already down to stock. This keeps up. Falco's going to find himself on the but table I really on think Thanksgiving. Fa I think Falco is at a really big disadvantage because both of them have really good aerials. But I think Falcon, especially on the ground, if he just stays grounded, there's not much Falco can do other than lasers. But, ooh, another one? Oh, so close. I just want every kill to be like that now. <laughs> just all three of them. <laughs> just, but I don't know. I'm not, I don't really know much about Falco. I know a little bit about Falcon. But I really just don't know what Falco's options are other than laser on the ground and hope. Just kind of pray a little bit when he's in the air with Falcon. <clears throat> oh, neat. Nope, nope. I just want to see the hype stuff. And I, I hope he delivers. Falco's fair is so good. Oh. You got tech, those. Yeah. You don't really see a lot of people stage tech. Like, I don't know, I guess no one really expects it. Like, like me. Ooh. I wanted that. So. Why didn't that spike down? Like, it's supposed uh, to. I think you got just the wrong hitbox for it. <clears throat> I don't think you got the spike hitbox. Station 8. Vaughn and Switcheroo. <laughs> Charge and F smash trying to read. Uh, ooh, up tilt. Ooh. Honestly, I don't think you should. I don't know if. Oh, no, you're good. I don't know. I still think Falco's the right, the right match for this. I think, I don't know, he has, I know Dagda has a Toon Link and a Wii Fit and a Ryu and like every other character in the sun almost, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, I just don't think Falco is necessarily the right choice. But Isn't Wii Fit his best character? Uh, I'd say either his Wii Fit or, or his Toon Link is his best. <clears throat> I haven't played his Wii Fit in a long time, so I can't really judge it. Ooh. I think at this point he's just trying, like, at this point, like if I were him, i just not want to get three stocked. I think... <laughs> Maybe that's what he's going for, but... But just about anything's going to kill at this point. Yeah, almost almost anything. There it is, like down that. smash. <laughs> oh, almost got the knee. <laughs> All the whiff grabs. I mean, Alex could still bring this back if he just focuses on just keeping Falcon out. And, you know, I don't know. I think he might have to go for a few gimps. I don't really think normal kills are really going to help him out much considering he's already at 104. And Falcon's kill ability is just kind of ridiculous sometimes. Right now, Rapid Boost will kill. So he has to watch out for that. Oh. Uh, 
I, w I wanted him just to side B and just throw that stock away for a hype kill. That would have been so nice. Oh. There it is. Or that could Never, I think he, I just think he regarded the ledge. Didn't have his, didn't have his invincibility. Alright, so I really don't think you should say Falco. I just don't think it worked out for him. Unless, maybe a different map would work better. I just... Five, wood, and DCT butter. Wood and butter. There's the Wii Fit. Delfino? Wii Fit? Alright. Oh, he went for it again. Oh. Oh, recovery too good. Yeah, luckily we fit has a good a good recovery. Could uh, get back from that. Cause I, if he was, I don't know, Falco could have made it back too. So, but I don't think his we fits a lot better than this Falco. So I think he might be able to pull this one out. I mean, it's already a lot more even than the last game. Ooh, Ooh that was a nice knee. <laughs> Early knee kills are so hype. I think knee kills in general are hype. <clears throat> yeah. I can I can agree. I think Falcon just in general is just too hype. Oh. Station seven, Windsor, <laughs> but then sometimes people get carried get too carried away with his hypeness. Yeah, I just love how like he goes for the knee opportunity every time. Like he's already like went for like three or four times. Ooh. So close. Did he just really go for a knee again? <laughs> oh. It's a dangerous yeah, game. Oh, yep. You never play. Want to play too close to the walk off? Oh, that there, could happen. There you again. <laughs> <laughs> Walk-offs are dangerous, but I honestly I think that's why Dagda likes this map. Uh, I played a few friendlies with him, and uh, he liked this map. He chose this map with Toon Link, which I guess I think he just really likes like relying on like throws and just F smashes like that. Ooh, an SD this makes makes brings the map match quite close to even. I think Dagda can still pull this out if he just plays his cards right and doesn't get hit by too many more knees <laughs> or more walk-offs. Let's see. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> I think you actually would have hit that one if you would have went in for it instead of just staying still. But why not? I'm just waiting for someone to just back throw or something. I feel like that's what's gonna happen if they get too close to the walk off. Knee? No. Ooh. I like how I just walked around. Like, what are you gonna do? <laughs> one more rapid boost and we fit dead. See, Weefit can still pull his bag. Just more projectiles. Just, just gotta stay back a little bit. Ooh, is that? Nope, not it. Not yet. Uh, and that's gonna be it. That's all she wrote. Side B has so much kill, kill potential. It's crazy. Do like I predict it, Rapid Boost kills. Do it. Do like I predict it, Rapid Boost kills. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, your brother said that if I. Went, if I went with Zebra Suit, she would be like too hard to get used to. Instead of using her as a pocket, I should use her as a main or a secondary. Who's Zebra Suit? Yeah. <laughs> and toss either Mario and Luigi as a pocket. Or I could go for Sheik and she would be a good pocket. Then you should probably just go for Sheik because you already have knowledge about her. Hey, Alex. Was that winners? Yeah. So I don't know. Monday and Rowan have a fight. So they were you have a Londine losing right now. I don't know. I'm like 50-50 on it. Yeah, you have him. Station one, Rowan and a Londite! This should be good. The peach. 
who are his, who is Ro, who does Rowan play Peach and who? Peach and Pac-Man and Alon Knight. As far as I know, is just an Ike main. But they're both really good. Is this the winner? Is this match winner? I think so. Uh, let me double check. How far? Oh, this needs to be refreshed majorly. Yeah, it's been marked at. I think they just fucked that up. Uh, yeah. Maybe they're just predicting that's what's gonna happen. No, I think that's why I came over and said that they hadn't played yet. What are Peach's no, options? Peach? Yeah. Uh, her, as, like her, like what do you mean, like options for what? Like combos. I really don't know. I, I, I played Peach a little bit, like, a long time ago, but <laughs> honestly, I don't really know. All I know is that she has like a firm 100% true infinite if you can get it off. I'm talking about like, like what do you mean? Like it's what um, is it? It's, you hit them with the turn up, turn up to get them into a, like a jab lock. Then whenever they get up, get up, you, you, you double jump really, really fast. And it, and it causes them an instant push skull. Then you, just, then you hit them with, I think it's a down air. And you just keep on doing that until you get to the edge of the stage and then you just hit him with a fair. I haven't been this motivated to play so long. All right. I've mostly made it through the bracket. Eight player smash? No. I have won one match with Pac Man, but most of it has just been beating me. All right. Great. So Rowan and Alondite. So it looks like it's going to go Peach. Honestly, I feel like I or I can't. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like Pac Man would be better just because. I feel like you could just ruin a lot of Ike's approaches with any projectile Pac-Man has, really. That's how it is where I'm at, when I'm at work. I'll have the director, the director sitting there calling all the shots. Like this, like this, like this. Are you feeling? So Ike is a real big combo food for Peach, but Peach will also die at like 80%. So. What? Is Ike combo food? I would think, you would think so. I mean, I, I know why you would think so, but I don't know. Does Peach really have that good of combo potential to just, like, endlessly combo? All right, let's get into it. First game on Smashville. Instantly pulling out a turnip, typical Peach. I, I just love watching Rowan play. His Peach is, like, so fluent and so good. Just, I don't know. Just really fun to watch. Especially because you don't really see many peaches, especially like around here. Station six but takes the combo line with and moves. I definitely think in this matchup, a lot or Ike is going to have a lot harder time getting in, especially with peaches as projectiles and especially just honestly how good Rowan is. Like I mean, I don't know how well Alondite is. Like I haven't really seen him play too much, but I know Rowan is like for example, like look at percents right now. Rowan is doing such a good job just just spacing him out. But also when you're fight, facing against Ike, Ike percents don't matter much because he can kill you at like 50%. Especially well, it still without, matters when you need to kill him. Especially whenever you play someone like as, as yeah. light as Peach. Yeah, Peach is kind of floaty, so she could die a lot sooner. But Ooh, that was nice. Well, we got some hype going on. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So. Oh, he's dead. He's gonna have to be careful with how he recovers, because if Rowan just keeps doing that, then there's not really much he can do, <laughs> honestly. Like that's one of his main recovery options when he needs to recover vertically. In fact, I think that's literally his only recovery option when he needs to recover vertically. Oh. 
So does that mean he has to start recovering half? Uh, well, that's the problem. Is Ikro doesn't have any other options. Like when he, like when you're already below the stage like that, the only option Ike really has is to recover with his up B. Unless he maybe has a wall jump and his other jump left. I don't know if Ike has a wall jump. So unless he has his other jump and can reach the stage or do a side B, he's practically going to have to just... He's going to have to hope that Rowan is far enough away from the ledge to not be able to counter like that again. That counter just so good right now. Like, I think it benefits Peach so much in this matchup just because all of Ike's moves are really slow. So you can just kind of see it coming. See, like that. He's going to start like trying to recover with his side B. He already knows. Ooh, that was a nice catch with the turnip. Ah, I don't even know what happened there. Up smash, and I don't know. What, I think Alana side. I don't honestly don't know what Alana did, but I think Peach up smash and. Mario Maker and then Hyrule Castle. I killed him with a tornado at 198 percent. Yeah. It was, oh, it was part of the, uh, the that's gonna have to pray and do a lot of good, good stuff if he wants to bring this back. And never get below the stage. Yeah, his best bet is just stay on the stage and just honestly just avoid as much as he can. If he can avoid the turnips, that'll help out a lot. But ooh, that was so good. See, just, his peach is just so like it's majestic. Like it's just so good to watch. But realistically, if Ike, if Ike plays really smart, he can still bring this back. He just, if he doesn't get hit much more this stock, I think he can bring it back. Just because Ike can just kill super ridiculously early, if he can get a good read. But ooh, yeah. that's oh, good di. That was super if close. If that was a fair, then Ike would be dead. Yeah, if he if he would have used fair, it would have been over. But Nair comes out so much faster. Ah, oh, mistimed it. <laughs> oh. Is he gonna get? Is he gonna get a kill? Nope. Not yet. Oh. Uh, ah, that would have been really cool. There it yeah, is. Yeah, that's awesome. So. <laughs> I honestly, it's gonna be really hard for uh, Alondite to bring this back. Especially against Rowan's Peach, just being so fluent and just knowing its options. The only way I really think he can win if he gets a crazy <laughs> spike or a read. If he gets a crazy gimp or if Rowan just happens to SD, which I feel like is really hard with Peach with her float. I just feel like if you SD with Peach, you just did something wrong. But I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's a lot easier than I think. Back really throw? Yep. Not, is it going to kill? Not yet. Really, if this much rage and how light Peach is, a forward smash would probably kill at this percent. <laughs> Well, Mac, he's already at max rage. I don't really know. Okay, never back there. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think a uh, forward smash would kill a 37, even at max rage. Maybe around like 50, probably 40. Yeah, I don't it depends know. how close they were to the edge. Yeah. Who side smash is stronger, villagers or? Huh? Who side smash is stronger, villagers or? Probably Ike. Okay, then I think that would have killed him. <laughs> I, I got killed by a villager's side smash at like 40. Okay. I, don't know. I was playing the lead. So. Yeah. So. Is he going to stay Ike? Does he have another character? I mean, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like maybe a map like Dreamland or Battlefield would suffice and be really good. Town and city. All right. I'm not sure how well this is for Ike, because I feel like Ike kills more off the sides than anything. But I don't know. His fair is pretty good. Has kill potential. His forward smash. Okay, maybe I'm just dumb. <laughs> his, er, his up smash. I don't know. I'm not an Ike player. I give up. <laughs> I give up on trying to th think of things. And, and the dare to fair combo. But, Oh. Just It's pretty even right now. Wait, way more even than the first game already.
the booty too powerful. I love I love Peach's side B. <laughs> it's just it's just stupid. It's like I'm just gonna smack you with my ass. You like that? <laughs> Alright. Especially like when it kills. It just makes my heart happy. I don't know why. It's just fun. Cause you like staring at it. No. <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> you know that's your waifu. Nah. I'm not a weeaboo. Nah. I probably just oh. insulted like everyone. Nah. Ooh. That up air would have been so what nice if it connected. Oh. Yep. And that's baited the spot dodge and was able to punish for it and get the kill. Spot dodge. I didn't, I didn't know you could spot dodge in the air. Air dodge, spot dodge. It's all the same thing. <laughs> you dodge something. Oof, I gonna kill? Not yet. Good DI on Rowan's part. That probably would have killed me because I'm dumb. I feel like if I feel like the line could have edge guarded that. Yeah, probably. But sometimes you just don't want to take the risk. Sometimes things are scary. You just don't want to go in for it. Cause I feel like a sad uh, a forward smash would have caught that. I don't know. I know line Knight likes to uh, edge guard using a. Ike's neutral B and have someone like someone land on it or just being within that blast radius. Uh, but he hasn't, I haven't really seen him do that at all against Rowan. I guess because Peach could either just float over it or just float it and just wait it out. <clears throat> so I really think his best edge guard is going to be just jumping out there and trying to get a fair. But I really feel like 